OBU dodges a bullet right there as they would have had to snap the ball from their own four and go 96 yards to score. Twin set for Stiegel. Barnes the running back to his left. Stiegel in the pistol. Looks to the sideline, wants to change things up. Ball's on the left hash. It will be first down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Play clock at 10. Here's the snap. Stiegel hands off to Barnes. Barnes rumbles his way up the field. Looks like he got to about 26 or 27-yard line. And it looks like he'll be short of the first down by about a yard. And OBU has just been absolutely great as they've been able to get to the second level and block those linebackers, allowing Jordan Barnes to make his one-cut running style very effective in this game. Twin set once again for Stiegel. It puts a man in motion. Snap, it's a handoff to the left side. And it will be an end around run to number eight. Looks like it was Frankie Edwards, the sophomore running back on that last play. And that will be enough for a first down. And a good pickup right there as they're able to pick up that first down. A good job by OBU to get those outside blockers, setting the edge for the end around right there to pick up the first down. Stiegel wants trips right, single back is Barnes once again. Ball is spotted at the 33 yard line. OBU still has a ways to go. Play clock down to 10, here's the snap. It will be a handoff to Barnes. Barnes has got room to run up the right hash. Barnes thunders ahead, call him down at about the 46 yard line. And that'll be another first down for OBU. And Barnes elected to just cut it inside the middle right there instead of taking it to the outside where his blockers were leading as he saw a giant gaping hole in the middle of that defense, able to pick up another first down. Barnes not a very shifty back as he elects to just roll over the DB on that last play, but nonetheless it was a big gain. Turner in motion, here's the snap. Stiegel hands it off to Turner. Turner's got room to run, he turns the corner. Turner's still on his feet down the right sideline, makes a cut. Turner's still going, he might go all the way, still on his feet. And he will be brought down just short of the goal line. Call him down at the three. And Stephon Turner with maybe the most explosive run of this game. That was absolutely a beautiful run by Turner right there as he was able to just break it to the outside, turn on the burners on the outside, and really make a nice cut to the inside right there as he was able to almost bring it to the end zone. A terrific run by Turner right there. Great run by Turner on that last play. OBU decides to run it right up the middle to Barnes and will be marked down, looks like just short of the goal line once again. And it'll be about second and three as OBU looks to ground and pound this game as to into a 14, or hopefully coming away with a 14-7 lead. Steele decides to hand it up up the middle and this time Looks like it will still be marked down short. Very small gains. Number 22, Barnes on the that play to Jordan Barnes once again. OBU trying to get something going here. And it looks like a timeout will be taken. And last year we saw OBU be really effective on goal line situations, running the stretch plays to the right, pulling the left guard, and really able to get that extra blocker on the right side. So we'll see if they go to that on this third down. We'll bring up a third down and goal situation. OBU knocking on the door of the goal line. Ball looks like it's placed around the two. And following that giant Stephon Turner run, OBU is in position to score with 7.37 here left in the second quarter. And really, OBU has not shied away from their run game, and they've stuck to their game plan coming into this game and really has allowed them to open up the entire field and you keep running the ball for you hope that big plays like Stephon Turner's great run right there will continue to break off. Definitely a very great coaching decision by Coach Jensen on the Stephon Turner run. Arkansas Monchello's defense looked like they were expecting some kind of deep pass due to the zone defense that they were running, but luckily it was read correctly. So the ball we spotted looks like inside the two yard line of Arkansas Monticello. OBU hoping to get in the end zone right here. It is third and goal from the two yard line. OBU going with their jumbo power package, two tight ends and two backs. Stiegel with the handoff and it looks like he will get in the end zone. 
and it will be ruled a touchdown for OBU. A good job by OBU just to bring out an extra tight end set right there and overload that left side as they were able to get a push right there, right there, and a great run and bounce off right there to get that score as he did make contact at around the two yard line. Isaiah Mallory carrying the ball in for that OBU touchdown was able to shake a tackler as he was hit in the backfield. Great athletic strength allowed him to carry forward and that will result in a touchdown. Snap is down, Tully's kick is up and it is good. OBU is leading 14 to seven here with 7.33 here in the second quarter. A great offensive drive from the Bison. A great offensive drive is right. Jason, as they continue to run the ball and really set the edges on the outside, allowing them to pick up good yardage on those sweeping plays. Well, as, as, like you said earlier, Josh, as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you might as well keep running to the outsides and using your backs to really loosen up some offensive yardage. And hopefully one, one time we've yet to see Stiegel really pull it for himself and try to run it up the field. So hopefully as soon as they establish the outside game, Stiegel will be able to fool them with the QB action read and bank for a long gain. Still have to wonder when they're going to start taking shots downfield, like we talked about in pregame, Josh. A lot of the receivers, Turner and Sarowski included, have very little touches this game, but they have been able to use Turner in the run game a lot. So we'll see what they go with on their next offensive drive, but for now, the kickoff unit will come on. And then it will be up to Hunter Leopard and the Bull Weevils and see if Hunter Leopard can get this team back in this game and really lead a very nice methodical drive to help them establish and get their momentum back. Well, and for Arkansas Monticello, it really is a defensive battle right now. We've seen Leopard make the throws that he needs to make as well as the wide range of receivers that have caught passes from him. So at this point, Arkansas Monticello just has to realize that their defense has to get things going. Tolley brings his kicking unit out onto the field. Back to receive for the Bull Weevils will be Jeremy Jackson and Trayvon Smith, the wide receiver. Seven thirty-three left on the game clock here at Crane Family Stadium. Tolley's unit is ready to go. Ball is set. And here's the kick. It will be an end over end kick deep. And it will be caught around the 18 yard line. Jackson fields it. Jackson's still on his feet, working to the right, is able to turn the edge. And it looks like he'll be knocked out of bounds. Call it the 35 yard line. Number 13, Jeremy looks like the spot is a little unclear, but nonetheless, it will set up first down and 10 for the Arkansas Monticello offense. And great field possession position as they continue to try and get themselves back into this game, tying the game at 14 on this drive. And remember, OBU did kick off to start the game, so they'd like to keep their possessions in the position that it's in right now so they could come into halftime or come out outside of halftime on top and be able to carry that momentum on offense. Ball was marked at the 31-yard line. It will be first down and 10 for UAM. Leopard in the gun once again. He's got two receivers to his left, and it looks like it will be a timeout called. Timeout. And UAM will call their second time, or excuse me, their first timeout of the half. Not a position that Arkansas really wanted to use a timeout in, but at this point, they've got to get some kind of offense going. So it was an interesting decision. Well, right now they can't afford a three and out because then OBU gets the ball back with enough time to score and it's possible that they could make it a two possession game coming into the half. That's right, Josh. They would really like to put the ball in the end zone right here and really eat up as much clock as they can. 